how to liquefy or warp text in Affinity Photo. Well, first thing to do, just go to the frame tool in the tools and just drag that out. Now you can type some text, obviously, but you can also use the text and insert text from a file. So just select file, and I'm just going to go and select that file, click OK, and then obviously resize it depending on what you want. Of course, could use that, but you can go with, say, 20 or 30 point, and that's it. Just going to go at that point. Now, once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to Layer and Merge Visible. So you end up with, I'm just going to remove the channels there. Don't want that. There's what I want, layers. And you see you've got two layers there. So with that, I'm just going to remove the previous text layer, the actual live text. And then I'm just going to work with the rasterized version there, pixel version. Now just go to liquify persona at the top. And once you're in there, you can see apply in the corner. I don't want to do that yet. There's a whole range of different tools. I'm just going to go for liquify, push, etc. There's a whole range. There's also a pinch tool, which you should Will you be punched all shortly the other way around? Anyway, so and there's also various other ones. You can also freeze as well. Now, I'm just going to select freeze option. So just select that one. And that basically means that any text is like frozen in that point. So you can modify the brush settings. You can set size. I like to work with a reasonable size brush. Also, you can modify the opacity, obviously, reduce it down a little bit. You can then change the speed, how it works, how quickly. And I think you don't want it too fast because it gets out of control and, and then you go and select some other different ones. You can then distress it slightly using that. You can also twirl a whole range of different liquefiers. And once you've done that, you can just go over and you can see you've got various options for divisions. You can make more divisions, make the mesh finer or obviously wider. Go over and click apply and there you have it. You've got now your liquefied or warped text. You can, of course, bring in the previous text files as well. You may be able to duplicate as well and work more with that. I hope you found this of interest.